Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. For today's video, we'll be showing you how to get this really simple Diwali look. So Diwali is the festival of lights and I thought that for this makeup look, I wanted to keep it a little more simple but a lot of golds and brightness. So I put a lot of brightness into the skin, just a hint of red and a red bowl lip. It's a really simple, natural type of look to go with my outfit for today. So if you'd like to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I already primed my face. I put on foundation, concealer, and my brows. So now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going into my white peach palette from Too Faced and I'm taking the shade Peach Cream and applying this all over my eyelid. <laughs> because I will be using this as a nice white base to start putting other shadows on top. Now you may be wondering why I did not show my foundation routine. It's because it hasn't really changed much. In fact, it hasn't changed at all. I use the same primer, same foundation, everything. So all of those products that I use will be in the description box below. I will also link a playlist with all of the makeup videos just in case you'd like to see that foundation routine. So enough of all of that all i'm doing here now is just making sure that this is nice and blended and then i'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade peach suede and i'm going to apply this into the crease now i usually go for a brown in the crease but because it's a very prominently red look we're going with a pink into the crease just so that it has a nice shift of color when you start to add the red on top so I'm just applying this straight to the crease and you want to use the same brush that you use the white. The reason why I say that is because it helps blend it more correctly. So now I'm going to go into my Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced as well. And I'm taking the shade Puree which is a nice brown shade that I normally use as a crease shade. And I'm just mixing that into the pink just so that it has a nice muted pink type of tone. Alright, so now I'm going back into the Sweet Peach palette and I'm taking the shade Summer Yum, which is a nice burnt red type of shade. And I'm taking that and applying it on my outer V and into the crease. And I'm doing the same swiper-like motion just so that it's blended nicely into the crease. I wanted it to go from light to dark, kind of like a nice gradient look. So that's exactly why I blended it so much. I'm again going back into the Sweet Peach palette. I'm taking the shade Charmed I'm Sure, which is a nice dark brown. And I'm taking that and applying it onto my outer V as well and into the crease. I wanted to darken it up just a little bit. I found that it was a bit too light for my liking, so I just wanted to darken up the crease. Alright, so now we're going into a MAC eyeshadow. It's a Velux Pearl eyeshadow in the shade Rudder, Ruder, <laughs> something like that. But it's basically just a nice prominent red shade. And I'm taking that and applying that onto my outer V once again and going into my crease and blending it out up onto my brow bone area. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to put gold onto the lid, into this inner part of the lid so we're just going to apply the red on the outside so as you can see here i'm really blending it in before adding more eyeshadow i want it to be prominent but at the same time not too bright because we don't want to take away from the actual outfit and all of that and then I'm going back into the white peach palette and taking the shade Peaches and Dreams. It's a really cute name. And this is just a nice gold shade and I'm applying this to the lid. Now, when I first applied this, I thought to myself, okay, this is very pretty in the pan. But it's not packing a punch as much as I thought it would. So it's kind of a muted kind of gold. So I wanted a more bright, like, in-your-face gold. So I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime spray and I'm spritzing another MAC eyeshadow in the shade Amber Lights. This is a really popular eyeshadow shade from what I know. And for good reason, because it's super bright, especially when you add the Prep and Prime, it really does bring out that gold. Because before, as you can see on camera, it looks a lot like a white from before, but now it starts, when you start to build it up, it starts to look like an actual nice gold so as you can see here i've been building it up like crazy <laughs> just to make sure that i have that nice gold shade and i've been adding a lot of fix plus as well as water because water works really well and then going back in with the shade rudder and i'm going to just darken up that crease area because i thought that the gold kind of took over the red area so i wanted to make sure it was a nice mixture of both colors After finishing my lids, I'm moving on to my lower lash line. So I'm going to bring down that red onto the lower lash line just to even things out. 
and you're just going to bring that straight into the inner corner area but not too like full on into the corner area just kind of almost there if you get what i mean so i'm taking the shade on the grill from the white peach palette and i'm applying that straight onto the lower lash line as well mainly because i wanted to make sure it looked a little more smoky under there and it really mixed in quite well with the red so that's why i applied it there i also applied a little bit onto my crease area just because i wanted my crease a little bit more darker and that really did the touch so now i'm taking the urban decay 24 7 waterline eye pencil in the shade legend and i'm applying this also onto my lower lash line now the reason why i'm doing this is because the black that shade that i had added it works really well on its own but because of the red for some reason it wasn't showing up well so that's why i added that and now I'm taking my trusty Kat Von D liner in the shade Trooper and I'm just doing simple eyeliner. So I'm flicking the liner out and then pulling it in up into the inner corner. And it's really simple. I didn't want to do a really too much of an extravagant eyeliner mainly because of all of the color going on on my eye already. Alright, so now I'm moving on to my face. So I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and i'm applying this bronzer as i normally do onto my cheekbone area and i'm not really doing a very like chiseled out contour i just wanted a very light contour just color to bring back into my face that goes for my nose as well i just wanted to be very light and nothing too precise i'm also taking mac peach twist and this is a shimmer blush and i'm applying this very sparingly onto my cheeks i didn't want too much blush because of the fact that so much is going on in my eyes i really wanted to be very clean for the face not too much going on so i'm going back into the white peach palette i'm then taking the shade peaches and dreams once again and i'm taking my finger and applying this onto my brow bone area as well as my inner corner and the reason why i'm doing this with my fingers because i didn't want that much of a crazy prominent glowy area in that part of my eye because I had so much going on in the lid so I just applied it very gently onto my brow bone area but in my tear duct area I did add a lot more I'm then going in with the shade nectar from the sweet peach palette and this is a very very bright golden shade as well and I'm using this as highlighter because sometimes I use this as highlight for my inner corner but for today I felt like it was the perfect highlight for my cheekbones I'm also applying it on my nose very lightly as well as my cupid's bow and on my forehead area I'm then taking my Kat Von D everlasting lip liner and it's in the shade bow and arrow and I'm applying this straight to my lips and lining my lips very carefully because we're going in with a red lipstick so it's very important to have a liner when you're working with very dark colors just so that it doesn't bleed out all over the place Speaking of liquid lipstick, I am applying a Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nosferatu. And I thought that was a really cool name because vampires, it's a nice bloody red, so I thought that was really cool. <laughs> That's why I picked it up. And it's also perfect for this type of tutorial. The only thing is that on camera, it does look very, very pink. I promise you, it is definitely a dark red it just showed up very pink because of the undertones it has to set the face i'm taking my Too faced hangover rx setting spray and i'm applying this to my face couple of spritzes probably like two or three and then i'm gonna wait for this to dry before i move on to mascara speaking of mascara i'm using the benefit roller lash mascara and i'm applying this lightly to my upper and lower lashes I didn't want too much lash for this look for some reason. I felt like it wasn't needed, but you can always add false lashes or really pack on that mascara. Now I'm just adding some final touches. So I'm taking this bindi and adding it to my forehead. Now these bindis come with a sticky part at the back of it, so I don't really need to add anything to keep it in place. Normally though, I would add lash glue to keep bindis in place. It keeps them in place all night and they don't budge until you are ready to take them off. For my headpiece, I'm also using some bobby pins to keep that in place. And normally, I would put lash glue onto the bigger part of the headpiece just to keep it on my forehead. But since it's not falling low on my forehead, I'm just leaving it as is. I'm also fixing my hair and then we're all done. And this is the final look. As you can see, it's a nice simple red and gold look followed up with a nice red bold lip. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos every single week. Also, don't forget to comment down below as well as on our social media pages what you think of our videos and some new video ideas if you have any. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Happy Diwali for those who are celebrating and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.